Fosu Community Red Twilight Travels. Contributed by Eric Jack Bridge. Oh, it's Jack from Jack and Daxter. This isn't timed, is it? One, this is a new time ridge. I want to take my time doing this. Ooh. Wow, this is... This is just a whole new time rift. And yeah, I've actually never done this in the scene version because Death Witch sucks. This is interesting. But yeah, this is actually based off of World 4, even though we haven't gone here yet. So this is a little heads up to what we're going to see in World 4. And even the, uh, the objectives are reasonable. Just get all the collectibles. There's one that we missed. Riff gates are spawned in using bells. Use your kid's hat to find them. Ooh. Oh, that- oh! Alright, we got more clever use for the hat now. Ah, so that actually sets up a mechanic we're gonna see in World 4. Alright. Alright, this is actually pretty fresh! I have no idea what's going to happen now. Like, I have no idea what we're going to find in here. Alright, uh, sneaky sneaky. Well, that's how to get up here, I see. Okay, we do have a magnet. Good. Oh yeah, so it's these raccoon enemies, except they're uh, ghostly this time. You have to use the dollar head to hit them. Other than that, though, they're the same enemies, so they won't count toward the total. Why did my jump just cancel? Alright, and now we have, uh, WOW! You came far! So that's another, um, enemy. It's an unkillable enemy, but these are Nega Bells. Or they, they're Nega Dwellers. They will cancel out all the intangible platforms. Be ready to jump this. Better not be where the pipe is, because I'll have to come all the way back up here just to get out of here. I really hope I didn't miss anything down there. There's like, that was like a whole section that I missed over there. We're gonna have to go back down. Oh wow, this sucks. I really well there or maybe we can just uh, use that ice thing to get back down. Whoa. Okay. Uh yeah. Um these later levels have an obsession with dweller mask jumps, and this is one of them. And I honestly hate it. These dweller jump these dweller jumps are extremely annoying. And they're extremely annoying in the fan levels, too. Oh, man. Is this a fan level? Is is Eric Jack, um, like, a fan who submitted his own time riff? And it got put in the actual game? Well, that's pretty cool, but... Jack, dweller jumps are not fun. They are just not fun. Well, I guess it's not about being fun, it's about being challenging at this point, but seriously. Alright. Well, at least the exit isn't up here. Now I can just, uh... Now I can just... Um, ice jump down. Pretty fun. Oh yeah, that's where the pipe is. Okay. Now I have to explore over here, because obviously things to collect.
Oh, these are bouncy. Oh, that's fun. That's just fun. That's fun. Oh, here's another thing you can do with the Dweller Mask. Uh, you can open these gates by making uh, the thing solid. That's pretty creative. Oh, there's just a whole section over here. We have got a lot of pawns. What the hell is this? Oh, and this is, um, oh, this is a Nega one we had to cancel out. Okay, I see there's a gravel hook over there. Let me make this jump! No, we got We might as well get this one in here. Um, sure. Well, just misleading. <laughs> so they just stacked a purple and a green one on top of each other, making a solid wall. <laughs> that's that's pretty clever. Only make this jump with the uh, scooter. I'll see how else we can make this jump. Oh, we barely made that jump. We buffet. Oh, oh, yeah. You can see my problem with dweller jumps. They, they just set these things up in such complex ways, like, even unexpected ways, like, how are you supposed to know there's another, there's a green wall right behind that? That is just not fair. Can you actually hit these guys with the... Oh, that makes this a lot easier. Okay. So they can actually hit those guys with the, uh, the brewing hat. So... Then... Um, luckily I made that jump. Like, that, seriously, that is, this is stupid. Oh, okay, here's a place you haven't been to. Ah, there's a story map. I was wondering if there would be one hidden here. I guess before we leave, we'll take out these guys, just in case. We've got quite a handful of pawns now. What we need to do is buy that map badge, because that's going to help us look for um, major collectibles. But with that, we proceed to the next room. I, I really feel like we should have come that room entirely, so let's get going. Oh, well, there's the bell. I guess we'll go over there and ring the bell first, since so we need to see it. What? Bless you! Times two! We even get a rip token out of that! 
Ha! Alright! This is a good time, Rip. I like it. Um, keep the dweller mask, actually, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure what we're gonna need here. I don't really see any dweller jumps. What we should have active, though... We'll turn the scooter off for now. We'll get the no bomb badge. That can actually help in situations like this. Ah, ha clever, clever. Oh, oh, now we can get these guys. Oh, wow! Yeah, they made ghost versions of the Mad Crows. Those aren't even in the, uh, the rest of the game, but in the normal game. Oh, my God! Wow, you guys suck. Whoa. Yeah. Do those? Okay, so the ghost ones not count? It's kind of lame. Alright, time for a spider jump. Whoa, okay, we can actually go here. I didn't think we were high enough. Well, there's some help. We definitely need some help. Of getting bullied by mad crows. Oh, jeez! Screw you guys! These guys! Oh no 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 no! Ugh. Time to restart. need to dwell or jump there, you can just jump that easy. Jump on one of these platforms, they can easily hide some kind of one of these. way to farm pawns.
up there, Heck. Jeez. Simple one, you know. Once you know what to do. Uh, hopefully, we're not missing anything in here. We can wall jump up this. Not really. We can. Is this another? Oh, it's not really effective. Probably is another way to get up there. Huh. I have to go up this little platforming course again. Sometimes you gotta worry about it not respawning. Responding. All right. Hopefully not. Man, I really don't want to miss anything in this level. Oh man, this level. Should be all. Let's come up here first. There's more crows. Don't we love crows? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the area we were. Okay. I really sh Well, I had the magnet badge on for the actual main collectibles, but it's kind of screwing me over and taking the help I don't want to waste it. Let's just pick these guys off one... Whoa! -ho -ho! That was lucky. One at a time. <laughs> wow, that's janky. Up here's the same platform. And there's something important. Where will you take me to? Oh, making me go go off this without collecting that sneaky devil. Is that gonna... No, I can just get up there that way. I say this is just gonna take me back to the start, but it's just gonna be safer if I go this way now. So, I'm gonna pan the camera around here. I don't see anything, so let's head back to the start. to that platform. Yeah, we can just jump this. 
I have the no bomb badge, yeah. I thought there's gonna be no! Oh no 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 no! Oh no no! You had to put a. Oh, that is such a dick move putting a bumper crow there. Oh, these are the worst enemies in the game just because of what they do. Yeah, you really have to watch out for bumper crows when you go jump onto small platforms. There's obviously going to be a story map on this thing somewhere. Another bumper crow. Where the fuck am I? What am I wall jumping on? All right, so there's just a teeny tiny pit there that you could fall into, but I managed to save myself by performing wall jumps in a very tight area. Okay. Let's just... Accept that as a good blessing and leave with that, shall we? I mean, I would have died to it. I mean, I got four health left. I guess I'll just use this scene to get back. I don't really see any more story maps on this island. Whoa! Did not double jump. Can't help but feel like I'm missing something on this island. Like, I feel like I had four out of eight maps when I got here, and I found that new map, so I should... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I forgot about this map. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Okay. I think I'm set now. I think. Let's go. Here's our um, last main room. All right, what are you big guys guarding? You big guys have to be guarding something. I'm gonna turn the magnet off, because I don't want to collect those. Are you big guys just guarding nothing? Okay. It's kind of weird. I feel like you guys should be uh, guarding something. Here's some more crows. Yippee. At least we got the, uh, the pawn. Spider up there, I can see you, trickster. Unless you're actually programmed for up here. That's a weird pose you're making, Mr. Spider. We're not right there, are you not? Jane. Bumper Pro. We got plenty of health in this section in case we need it, so better keep the magnet off. 
Time for more Dweller Jumps. We just gauge these guys' paths. Oh, okay, this isn't bouncing. Yeah, there's no way we can make that jump otherwise. We better switch this one back on. Make that jump. Yep, good strategy. At least this section is generous with its health. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I do not want to fall on that yet. Yeah, we definitely missed some things. Um... What did we miss? Is there an area we can go? Is there another area we can go to in this section? None that I see. No. So this one's just a linear path. There's always a chance the last story ponds are in the final room. I mean, like, but usually they only have one in there. So that makes me worried. I guess it's safe just to backtrack for now, make sure we have everything. I can't help but feel like these guys are guarding something. Like, why are they just set here? But there's just nothing here. It's just decoration. Alright. Um, I trust that we have everything in this room. I'm searching desperately for secrets. I'm not finding any. You know what, that's why this commu community level was accepted. Because the developers just love Dweller Jumps. Like, oh, these are some good Dweller Jumps! Everything else looks fine, but boy, these Dweller Jumps are amazing! Let's abuse the heck out of them some more! Alright! Let's go in! So what do we miss? There's that one. Yep, we missed one. That sucks, because this is a whole new time rift. Alright, whatever. Whatever. Wait, what's this say? Legends, legends say a great hero from long ago went on a grand journey to get to the Twilight Bell. He left his home and faced many troubles along the way, but persevered. This statue is here in remembrance of him. This, there's a quote on the backside of the stone, supposedly from the goat himself. It reads... Never forget, being determined can push you to greater lengths than you may ever know. Be proud of your work, even if it's a small thing. If you wish you could meet 
this goat one day. He seems like he'd be a great friend to have, even if they don't talk. Aw, that's cute. So we pretty much missed something. That sucks. This was a cool level, though. I loved it. Oh, it feels annoying, but still. You don't even get pawns from this. I'm gonna turn the magnet back on. You don't even get pawns from that one. Come on. I missed the book. The Forgotten Children. Oh, that's what. Oh. Then this happened. And then they became the dwellers. Well, I kind of already figured that. And then Snatcher made them work. Oh, oh, so the dwellers really are just the minions. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. maybe we don't get to see the last page. So that explains why all those dweller jumps were there, because we actually learned about the dwellers. I mean, I already figured that's what happened to them, because they were always wearing the same masks, but then they confirmed that they are the Snatcher's minions. that route. So we definitely had to find like a convoluted route up there. Oh, so dive jumps don't count as jumps. Yeah, it's one of those Mario Odyssey tricks. Wow, these guys are persistent. Come on. Come get me. Come get me, baby. Now, this actually goes well with the Dweller Mask, those glowy eyes. It's so weird that there's some steps she can run up, but others that she can't. Makes no sense.
fuck. Oh, damn it! What? Okay, the slide button is not responding now. Oh, even better. This road was absolutely pointless. Would've been faster if I went this way. All right, I'm resetting that. That was just bullshit. Do wall jumps count? That's another problem. So I guess I already got that enemy in my in my kill count. I guess the ghost crows did count. Shoot me up higher. No. That was a mistake. That did not go where I thought it was going to go at all. I didn't even see the door there. That's why I went in. This sucks. Reset. I want to come along this route. She makes a little bounce when she gets off the scooter. I'm not even going to go that way now. The ladder is here. Okay, that's what we can do now. Let's actually go and buy that map badge. That'll really help us. So with 
that, we return to Dead Bird Studio. Now, I know there's a Snatcher coin on the moon. We know where the Snatcher coin for the studio is. I don't remember where the third Snatcher coin is. I mean, Logic's... Oh! It's on the Aliexpress. It, it's, it's in the Train Rush level, I remember. This is still a cute outfit, though. I'm going with my sunglasses. Look at sunglasses. Yeah. So I generally remember where each of these coins are. Here's the first one. Anything else we can collect? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that platform's janky. There are... Oh, there is still a collectible here. So yeah, this radar is going to be extremely handy when we uh, want to find everything. Oh, there's something over here. No, it's okay, it's still further that way. I'll just make this jump. Oh! Oh, those guys have bigger hitboxes. That is weird. Alright, here we go. Rest peacefully on this. Definitely didn't check up there. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, that's pretty clever. Oh, yeah, that's pretty clever. Alright, we definitely need our thingy to get that. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more fun Snatcher challenges. Let's find these hidden tokens around the level. Especially since, uh, I already know where they are. And the next one we need... Let's just, let's just buy some stuff if we can.
But alright, let's get a new remix. Blue time. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, I was hoping to get that one. That will make these uh, time rips a lot more enjoyable. Well, they'll make the music more enjoyable. I mean, I like the music already, but I love the remix to it. Um, so we have to go to Train Rush. So I remember looking for this token in the Steam version, and it was actually really weird. So... Yeah. As you can see, the token is just out there, off in the nothingness, because he actually can't go that way. But, like, uh... The reason for this, like, this whole... This whole train rush level has what I call mini-load mini load zones. Like, it's all supposed to be one load zone, but, like, doing stuff in the level will trigger new areas of the, of the level. And it basically trans... Like, going through that door... Going through that door just entered a mini load zone. We're still in the same loading area, but it transformed the level. That's basically how this level works. And you can... And you can basically tell that by the, the token's weird positioning. It's like, everywhere in the level... Yeah. Everywhere in the level, the token is just going to be directly to the right. Even though it's not. Where the token actually is... I should actually use the scooter. Where the token actually is... It's in this upcoming area. Yeah, okay, here's where the token is. Yeah, see, now the radar is more precise, because the token actually loads into the level. And it's up here. I think we have to jump on this one. Alright, yeah, we can actually jump on these- oh boy! Yeah, that's a pretty clever hiding place. But, um, that's it. That's where the token is. So that teaches you about Train Rush's layout. It's all the same load screen, but the level transforms. And I guess... I guess the parts that haven't loaded into the level are directly to the right. Um, across the skybox. And that's why the token is directly to the right as well, so... <laughs> Fun facts about Train Rush's programming. Now then. The last token is in, um... I'm pretty sure it's on the moon. Now that, that shouldn't be nearly as tricky because the moon is a very small level. Compared to Mario Odyssey's moon, I'll tell you what. We get to hear this remix again. I guess I'll be... I guess I'll be spending forever looking for it on my own. Eh, let's just make it more fun. I don't, I don't want to cheat with the radar just yet. I'm gonna try to find it on my own. Get this stuff. I like missing all this stuff. This area is just really bouncy. It's hard to get everything. I want to say the token is inside one of these balconies. Sure. Okay, it is here. Oh, it's in that direct. Oh, I just cheated. Well, at least we confirm that it is in fact here. actually go in there. I'm not seeing it in here.
is a more relaxing version of the song. Alright, remix. Since I'm just uh, patiently trying to look around. Ow! Except for that. Wait. Huh. I might have an idea where it is. Got a picture taken. I might have misjudged where I thought it was. I guess... I guess we'll just use the radar now. It's in that direction. And it's tucked away in this corner, right? This feels a little too far from the path. Alright. Upright. Oh, oh, that's clever. Okay. That's clever. Alright, so that's the token. That's all the tokens for Deadbird Studio. I'm gonna go to Mafia Town. I know where at least two of the tokens are in Mafia Town. Them. Let's just go to the Golden Vault one. I'm pretty sure we can still get to this one during the Golden Vault mission. I just want to choose this one because it's more relaxing, the music. So we can go up here. So as you can see, we can actually platform up here if we can just get it. How do we platform up here? Ah, oh, yeah, we can platform on this guy. Clever. We got the magnet on. Eh. And there it is. Pretty easy. Now it's for the other ones. Um, we had to drop down to those hot air balloons, so I'm gonna switch back to the scooty woody. Well, I shouldn't need the map badge for this. I will re-equip it to find other collectibles. I've I think the token is on these hot air balloons. Not really seeing it though. Hmm. Well, I thought I was on the right track. Whee! 
Underwater physics! Sorry, sorry, I keep stopping, I'm just trying to get my steps. And one of the tokens should be in there. Yep, it is. Okay, what is actually the point of that? You really need the ice hat to make that easy jump. I guess you would in the no jump mission. Maybe that's what they're setting up for. Alright, let's turn the radar back on. So I'm not really sure where it is. It's probably on the other side of the freaking island. Oh, it's on that thing. Okay, I completely misjudged where it was. Yeah. Can we get up there with the ice hat? Is that how we're... No. No, what? We could probably get up there easier if we drop down from the island again. simple. Come on, hat kid. Get the coin. 